Interior Garage, Night. Our main character, John Out of Time, sits on a folding chair in the middle, the only source of light being a dim yellow bulb hovering over his head. He has an idea, I guess you could say. He examines his watch briefly and gets up. He says to himself, in a raspy, jaded voice, I'm out of time. He grabs a pistol and cocks it and leaves. Interior Warehouse Storage Facility, Day. A mobster gangster, Victor Kremlin, stands with a group of unnecessarily armed guards. They examine a comically huge map with pins in various locations spread across the table. A couple of black pickup trucks are parked behind the group. The rest of the warehouse is filled with smaller warehouses, as this is a storage facility for warehouses. A man comes running up to Victor with a scroll, which attracts the attention of the group. He hands the scroll to Victor hurriedly, out of breath. He ran all the way from America, across the Atlantic, into the Mediterranean, and into Bulgaria to hand Victor the scroll. Victor opens the scroll and reads it. He looks out into the light from the windows, pensively. Goon 1 says, What does it say, boss? Victor says, He's out of time. You know what to do. All of his goons start moving. They arm themselves and get in the trucks and leave. Goon 2 says, well, What do you mean, sir? Victor shoots Goon 2 in the head. No stupid questions. Victor says, Many know him as a military ex-con specialist mercenary gone rogue special op. Some know him as the Scarlet Wall. I know him as John. Exterior street in Budapest, Bulgaria. Cars line the streets like dominoes. Pizza. Food carts and fruit stalls compete for the pocket change of decrepit lepers who muster up what little strength is left in their fragile limbs to crawl pathetically. And in the middle of it all, John, who is out of time. He skips up the street towards an ominous looking warehouse with a bunch of black pickups parked outside. Groups of heavily armed men pose menacingly outside the trucks. John rolls fatly into the action and starts blazing. As he sprays lead from his pistol at a fire rate of half the speed of sound, he says gruffly and masculinely, I'm out of time. Bullets fly everywhere in all directions. Watermelons explode from the food carts. Windows get smashed open. It's chaos in the street. The lepers have found the strength to get both the absolute heck as well as the complete heck out of there. People start overthrowing the government. I guess you could say that Bulgaria is out of time. After only five minutes, the streets have been consumed by fire and blood. John is unscathed, his gloriously stallion-like face showing no signs of even the black streaks of smoke. The bullet-ridden bodies of Victor's goons stack on top of each other like Jenga pieces. John had found some time to stack them. John sits down next to an ashtray, rifle in hand. He says, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Sometimes when a man is down, all he's got left is what's within himself in his life. He smokes a cigar and puts it on the ashtray. He continues, And when a man is down like that, he's gotta ask himself, It's time to stand up for what's I gotta do right now. He smokes two cigars at once and puts them on the ashtray. He continues, When the Iranians attacked, back then we knew what was right. But now that I realize Iranians are people too, nothing makes sense. He smokes another cigar and puts it on the ashtray. There are now seven cigars on the ashtray, none of which have been put out. He continues, But I guess that's what the enemy does cause us to look in through our belly buttons and see who we are on the outside. John kicks over the ashtray, which ignites a trail of gasoline and lights the warehouse on fire. Victor comes running out on fire and collapses in front of John. He screams his lungs out. John says, I'm out of time. He shoots Victor in the head. Interior warehouse storage facility night. John walks into the warehouse. He's fireproof. He goes into one of the warehouses inside the warehouse and finds a fridge. He opens it. His face lights up from surly and burly to happy. He reaches into the fridge and grabs a container of time. John weeps. He goes home, having completed his mission.